Hello everyone, in this video we are going to extract the mesh topology curves using the repeat zone node and mesh topology nodes. So this is really nice effect, you can apply this effect onto any object. So let's get start. So first we are going to do this for this uh, open surface. Then I will show you how to apply this effect onto a different object that may be a closed object or open object. So let's add uh, the geometry nodes. First we need the separate geometry node and for the selection we are going to add the compare node with equal operation and here we are going to add the edge neighbor node and we are looking for the edges that has only one face. See we have the outer edge or the open edge uh, but it has slight problem because this setup is evaluating on the edge domain and this separation is working on the point domain okay so to fix that we have to add another node that is evaluate on domain and change this to edge see it fixed this problem so this is before and this is after so now it is working properly this selection is providing this edge and the second socket is providing the remaining geometry so we have to repeat this setup or this operation onto the remaining geometry until we have the mesh that don't have any face to get all the edges or the mesh topology curves so to repeat this we are going to use the repeat zone node so in the first socket uh, we are going to store the edges so let's rename this as edges or the lines and for the second socket we're going to store our geometry so let's plug that into this and move this node inside the repeat zone node let's connect this to the lines and this to the geometry this to the lines and this to the geometry so now we have only one edge and if we go to the second iteration we have the second edge then third then fourth and until we don't have any edge that has this condition okay uh, but to get all the edges we have to store them to store them we're going to add the join geometry node and join these edges to the existing edges or the lines so if we increase the iterations we have second third fourth and after the fifth iteration we don't have any edges so if we look into this geometry we can see that we left with the geometry that don't have any face so what we can do we can add this remaining geometry when it satisfies the condition means this selection is zero means this geometry has no edges or the edge count of this is zero so let's add the switch node let me disconnect this when it is true means there is no edge for this selection it going to add the remaining or residual geometry but when this uh, condition is false it going to add the selection to this join geometry now you will see that we have the central edge here so this is before and this is after okay now it is uh, working fine and now let's apply this to the monkey and i'll show you one more problem with this setup so let's add the monkey move this to this side let's add our setup and if we increase the iterations you can see that our lines has faces so we don't need them so to delete them we're going to use the delete geometry node change this to face and this to only faces see we have lines with no face now it is fixed so let's convert this geometry of the lines into the curves 
a mesh to curves node and after that we need to convert the back to mesh and here we can add some thickness to these curves or the lines maybe 3 and this 0 0.05 and after that you can add the set material node to add the material to these lines and before the mesh to curve node you can add another node that is trim curve node to trim these curves so that you can add a different animation to these curves okay so let's apply this effect onto a close object and if we apply that see it is not generating the mesh topology curves because this setup or this condition is only work for the open edges so we have to create that open edge you can manually delete one of the face of this sphere you just go to there to inside this and then you can select one of the face and delete that only face and if we enable this see we have these curves or we can delete any of the face using the geometry nodes so add the delete geometry node we need to delete the face and here we can add the random node and this uh, setup provide a more variations so that we can create a different patterns see now you have control to create a different patterns even on the open surface okay this and also for this you can add a subdivision to this monkey to add more curves see now it has more curves and to add the materials we have added this node but we have to create a material for this let's make this metallic and we can add that here see now it is metallic okay so this is the overall uh, setup for this effect i have made a dedicated node for this setup and it is available with my preset extra nodes so if you have that you will get the update so this is it i hope you learned something from this video so if you like then please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more updates if you want to support me you can support me through my patreon page thank you for watching see you in the next video happy noding bye